Hi, this is Danny with Keith McMillan Instruments. I'm going to show you how to set up your soft step to control GarageBand. The first thing you'll need to do is download the Garage Remote Utility. You can find this by googling GarageBand Garage Remote. There is also a link to this download on our website at keithmcmillan.com. Once downloaded, open the Garage Remote folder and double click on the garageremote.pref pane. This will install itself into your system preferences automatically. Since I have already installed this, I don't need to replace it. Now, you'll see the GarageBand remote after it's installed appear under the other menu at the bottom of your system preferences page. Once open, Garage Remote needs to restart system preferences to run. Now, the only thing you need to do inside of the Garage Remote utility is click on the Listener tab and press Start to start the listener. This will listen for MIDI messages now to control the GarageBand transport. We can go ahead and close System Preferences now. The next thing you'll want to do is open up the SoftStep application. Once the SoftStep application is open, simply select the scene preset titled GarageBand Transport. That is all you need to do inside the SoftStep editor. Finally, we need to open GarageBand. Now let's go ahead and create a new track. Now our soft step is ready to control GarageBand's transport. Here's what the keys are mapped to on the soft step. Keys 1 and 2 are rewind and fast forward. Key 6 is rewind to the beginning. Key 3 toggles playback on and off. Key 4 toggles loop mode on and off. And finally, key 5 starts and stops recording. If you want to record in punch mode, simply press play and then use the record button to punch in and punch out. That is all you need to do to set up the soft step to control GarageBand. Thanks for watching.